uh, Linda, you're in, and Betty, you're in. Come on in to Dave's awesome gym, now with 50% more showers. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today playing Gym Tycoon, where it may surprise no one at all, we're going to build a gym. We're going to build a building and put some things in it, and people can come in and lift heavy things and then put them down again and run in place for hours on end. We're going to build a place where people can build up their fitness regimen. This is out in early access as of a few days ago, as I'm recording this right now. And we did receive a key from this from the developers. So thank you very much to those folks for that. I have left a link to the Steam page down below. So if you want to go check out some early access Gym Tycoon, that's where you can go ahead and do it. And it is early access again, so we're not going to expect this to be perfect. There may be some unfinished parts, there may be some bugs, there may be some glitches, I don't know. As is very common, I've just fired this up and hit record. Why would I bother trying anything out? That seems like advanced class stuff. Let's jump into some Gym Tycoon. Well, we're here. This is our gym. It's not much of a gym right now. We don't really have a lot of stuff in it. It's um, it's basically just an empty building, but we're going to change that soon enough. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what our options are here. So obviously bring me to build mode. What can I build here? I could build some walls, doors, entrances, windows. Okay, uh, it's furniture. I don't want that. I don't want to sell the furniture. I want to look at the furniture. There we go. Now we're getting into a gym. Barbell bench, dumbbell rack, treadmill, a lamp. Looks like we've got some ceiling lamps already up for us. Uh, toilets we can't unlock yet. So if you come to Dave's awesome gym, be prepared to hold it for a little while because we're not actually good at toilets yet. A shower. All right, so we can get a shower area for our guests and a barbell rack. All right, well, let's just start with something simple. I don't have a heck of a lot of money. Starting out with 3K here, and these are $400 a pop, $300, $450 for a treadmill. And how much was the uh, barbell rack? $450. All right, let's just start out simple. Let's just do a, a barbell rack. Uh, let's put that, can't put it right up against the wall. That makes sense. You'd bump the weights into the wall. How about we put this right here? And then maybe another one right next to it. Okay, I'm already bleeding money here. Let's just see what else we can do without completely going bankrupt on day one. How about a dumbbell rack lived right next to that? That looks pretty gym-like. Yeah, I could see that. Now, do we actually... We don't actually have any members yet. So I'm building all this stuff. Nobody actually wants to come to Dave's awesome gym yet. Uh, what's going over here in my customer's menu? I've got applicants. All right, I've got Carol, Charles, and Jason. Carol, what's your deal? You've got some statistics here. And as I understand it, as they keep coming back to Dave's awesome gym, they're going to actually get better. They will build strength. They will build endurance. So you're kind of meh all over the place. But I can't really afford to turn anyone away. So Carol, you're in. And uh, Charles, let me take a look at you. You're also kind of middle of the road. You're in. Jason, same deal. Awesome hair, Jason. Love what you're doing with that. You're in. Okay, we have three members in Dave's awesome gym. Let's unpause the game here and get things started. And before anyone shows up, I do still have 1900 left. I could get something else in here. So how about maybe a treadmill? How about a treadmill lived, I don't know, right up front here, right by the window? Yeah. So people can walk by and watch you running on the treadmill if that's a thing they want to do or more to the point, if it's a thing you want to do. I'll put this one right in front of the wall so it's nice and awkward. And then another one here. Okay, I got 500 bucks left. Um, that's not very much money. But hopefully that's going to be enough things to keep our three members happy when indeed they do show up. Oh, Carol's here. Carol's here. She's shown up. She's ready for her, um, well, afternoon workout, early afternoon workout. She's met, oh, she's met about things. She's only sort of happy. What are you going to do, Carol? You're going for the dumbbells, okay, or the barbells, rather, excuse me, the barbells. And you're going to do some bench presses. All right, fair enough. Uh, how quickly do you, oh, I, I can't quite, oh, you got 5 XP, right. Now what, you're going to get on the treadmill, okay. So you're happy with the exercise. There's, there's plenty of things for you to exercise on here, and you're okay with the pricing. You're basically okay with the pricing. Can I get an idea 
of how much we're actually charging people for this. So like finances, $50 a visit. Wow. That is outrageous. I would never come to Dave's awesome gym at that kind of price. This is a closet with a couple of exercise things in it. 50 bucks. Dang, that is good. Uh, I like the gym game. Oh, here you come with your awesome hair. Remind me again, Jason. Right, Jason. Awesome hair. Okay, your happiness is ticking up. Okay. And again, you're happy with the, the amount of exercise things in here. And you're met about the pricing. I'd be outraged at the pricing, Jason. I would just be flipping out about this. And you guys are gaining experience every time you use a machine. All right, fair enough. Oh, and we do close. We're open from 9 to 5. Okay, can I change that? Is there anything I can do about changing that? How about the calendar? No, nothing in here. Apparently, at some point, we can actually get our members into contests so they can enter fitness contests. Uh, that's probably where that calendar comes in. Anything in finances where I can change the time that we're open. Because I'm totally happy to have this place open 24-7 for our three members at 50 bucks a pop. And we are paying utilities. We're paying heat and we're paying electricity. So we're down 200 bucks every day before we even start. I need those three folks to be coming in very, very often during the day. I'm going to skip the day forward. I always like a handy tool like that. Just go ahead and let me skip to the next day. Anyone going to show up? Any new, well, actually, any new applicants? Do we have any new applicants? No. No new applicants. All right. How about feedback? No feedback at this moment. So nobody's had anything to say about Dave's awesome gym. Yeah, people seem to start showing up around noon. That seems to be the thing. If I could change my hours, maybe I need to be open like 12 to 8 or something like that. Ah, we've got a new applicant. Brian. Brian, again, you're met in everything. We'll change that soon enough, Brian. You're totally in. I can't afford to be refusing anyone. Paying 200 bucks a month, a day rather, to run this place. How's your, um, how's your XP? Come here. Come, come here and talk to me. Come here and talk to me. How's your, um, how's your, what, what's going on here? You're getting, looks like a little bit more upper body strength. Okay. Oh, I could, I could fine tune you. I could tell you what to do when you come in here. Huh. So I just say, you know, just do nothing but leg day. Every single day is leg day. That sounds terrible, but every single day could be leg day. So you built up a little bit of endurance and a little bit of upper body strength while you were here. Okay, fair enough. I'll probably let you just sort of design your own fitness routine for now, but maybe down the road, we may look at fine-tuning you. Oh, and we've got another new applicant here, Dorothy Parker. Wow, I think I read one of your books in high school. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give a membership to Dorothy Parker. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna check her out. I just want her for the brand appeal. Uh, we've got a celebrity in the house working out with us. Okay, I got six fifty in the bank. Could I, could I add something? I think there's a machine or two that I don't have yet. How about the barbell rack? How about we did that? Where does that... That could actually live right in the middle here. That could live... How about right here? Right there. Don't overthink it, Dave. It's a closet. Yeah, that can live right there. So now we've got one new piece of equipment. We will just barely get through the day and be able to pay our utilities, but it'll be fine. Maybe we'll get some more applicants with some more equipment. Oh, apparently we leveled up overnight. We must have got enough positive customer approval there to get to a one-star gym. Now we can have a toilet. That's very exciting. And entry-level contests. Okay, and we can have more members, which is very cool. Uh, does that open up anything in the calendar? Like, why is this blue? Is there a thing that's happening here? doesn't seem like there's any events we should be entering our folks into. We'll see if that comes up over time, but we should build a bathroom, except I've kind of got no money to do that. So you guys need to come in and work out like a lot. Did we get any new applicants? No, unfortunately not. We're stuck with five nobodies and a celebrity in Dorothy Parker. Okay, hopefully some new applicants will turn up today. Yeah, the place is jumping for our five people that come here. So, yeah, everyone's coming in and out. Everyone does seem to come every day. I wonder if they're always going to come every day. 
Or, you know, maybe they only come three times a week or two times a week. I don't know. Right now, everyone seems to be showing up. Oh, there's a new applicant. There's a new applicant. Anthony Garcia, you're in. Do you have anything special about you? No, you're completely generic there. But you're in. I just, I need the money at this point if, if you guys want a bathroom. Oh, bright and early the next morning, Deborah King wants to join Dave's awesome gym. There you go, Deborah. All you. How does that bring our membership up to? Oh, yeah, we got some people. We can have a max 20. Oh, you did a thing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Slow it down. You, uh, no, no, not speed it up, Dave. Slow it down. Hang, s stop, stop. There we go. You did a thing. I can level you up, Charles. I can level you up. What does that mean? Oh, okay. It just boosted you a little bit. So, need to exercise shows how successful this member can perform all its exercises. Drops when an exercise could not be performed missing equipment or they were occupied. All right. And you're actually happier with the pricing now. Happier at the pricing. Maybe in a little bit we look at bumping up the price a little bit. All right. Well, good job leveling up, Charles. We have a new applicant, though. Sharon Walker, you are 100% in. I don't care. So long as you've got your 50 bucks when you show up, you're fine. And Carol just leveled up, too. So sure, there you go. Level up there, boosted your exercise, boosted your pricing. Excellent, good. Uh, no, don't end her membership. I need I need every $50 contribution we can get around here. And uh, you, Sharon. Oh, you're new. Right, you're very, very new. Well, welcome. Oh, yeah, you're building up your exercise very, very quickly. Very quickly. You'll probably level up sooner rather than later. Uh, okay, not at that point, but you probably bet you will tomorrow or something like that. I've got 362 bucks. Not much I can do with 362 bucks because, oh, you leveled up. Excellent. Come here. I'm going to level you up. Yay. There you go. Because the walls alone are 100 bucks. So I'm going to need to build up some money here in Dave's awesome gym before we're building anyone a toilet. Now, next day rolls around and two, two, three, three more applicants coming in. Well, now here's the thing. It's going to start to get crowded around here. And they're going to get fussy if there's a line for the, the thing that they want, the, the machine or the, the rack that they want. I mean, it's not going to stop me from taking all of them. But I think we've got to, we've got to kind of add something. Let's add a new machine for right now. Yeah, that, I think that's the best move. Let's put another barbell rack, uh, preferably in line with this one, right? here. Okay. I don't want them to get all fussed if they can't get to the thing that they want. Skip through till tomorrow, please. Let's get some more money coming in. That was not a small amount of money to put that up. And then hopefully we can generate enough money today or tomorrow to actually build some toilet facilities. Well, a couple of level ups floating around here. Brian, you've leveled up. Thank you very much. And who are you? Oh, Dorothy Parker. Yeah. Excellent. Get the celebrity leveling up. Definitely. I've got a couple of new applicants. I kind of might just sit on them for a while because I'm worried about overcrowding. I'm worried about customer satisfaction if they can't get to the thing that they want to get to because we're kind of jammed. We're kind of slammed here. Can I, can I bump the price up a little bit? How about, oh, I can get it real fine tuned. I can do it dollar by dollar. How about it's 55? How about it's 55 for a visit? We'll just keep nudging that up a little bit. Most of you have leveled up. Most of you are pretty happy with a higher price right now. In fact, I know you've leveled up. Yeah, you're still fine. Okay, your 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 happiness is actually declining a little bit, but I think you're going to be okay with 55, I think. So the next day rolls around. I got 500 bucks in my pocket here. That's That's only five sections of wall. I think I probably need more than that for a toilet. So I'm going to, all right, let's just go into super high gear here. Let's get some people in and out the door at 55 bucks a pop and see if I can generate enough. I guess I can start putting walls down. Oh, you've leveled up. Okay, I'll, I'll get you next time. I'll, when you come back in tomorrow, I'll get you. Uh, so let's get some walls kicking along. A lot of new applicants. Oh, all right, I should probably, all right, you know what? Just skip the day. That's fine. All right, now I've got a thousand bucks. Let's kick it into medium gear here. Let's build some walls. How about, where is the toilet going to go? 
let's put it sort of right here. Probably doesn't need to be that big, I bet. Uh, how do we how do we build walls? How, how, build 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 the wall. Oh, there we go. Okay, I get it. All right. I'm kind of stuck with that green, am I? No real, not a lot of customization. Can't really change the paint or anything like that. Okay, do that. Oh, that one was only 50. All right, so I'm probably doing like a half tile or something. Uh, this is actually just going to be a toilet. So do that. Get out of that. Give me a door here. All righty. And then, wow, this is a closet of a toilet right now. It's all I can afford, people. It's all I can afford. I just want a toilet. How 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 do these go? Uh, here, where where you where do you want to live? Do you want to live maybe like that? There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, and I should probably do some kind of light in there. Yeah, definitely. You want some kind of light in there. Okay, if you guys come in and work super, super hard, you can get a second toilet. I promise. Oh, yeah, you leveled up. I need to deal with you. Uh, so level up so you'll bite on a higher price. I like that. Anyone else got any level ups? No. Anyone else use, need to use the toilet? Now would be the time. It's kind of a single serve in there, so you're going to have to have a bit of a line. Yeah, I think we're... I don't think I should take any more clients right now. I think we're getting into a bit of an overcrowding issue. Uh, y you, come here. You? No, not you. Uh, you, come here. Let me level you up. Thank you. Uh, so much leveling up going on. Okay, weirdly, people are giving me $68. Where is that number coming from? Oh, I'm using more electricity. P.S. Because I just put a new light up. Huh. So I could actually shave off some electricity costs if I did this in the dark. And I bet the bigger the building, probably more heating costs that I have to endure. All right, well, I've got another thousand bucks. I should... Okay, how big could I expand the actual workout area? Let's see. If I did this to this... Wow, that's 200 bucks. Uh, not very far is, is the answer to that question. So I'm just going to do that and that, and then kind of vaguely call it a day. I might, let's see if I can get in another bathroom. I probably won't be able to afford the toilet, but I might be able to get in another bathroom. So that, and, oh, I can do them diagonal. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. All right. Um, Why can't I place it there? What, what, what's your problem? What's your deal? What, what is the issue here? I, is something blocking it? Is the treadmill blocking it? Might be. Don't suppose you want to go here to here. Oh, yeah, you're fine with that. Okay, you're fine with that. I don't know what the problem was there. Have another door, and then I need some money. Well, Jason, one of our first members, he's up to level three now. Aha! At level three, you have a new need. You need a toilet and a shower. You have a new need then. So there is actually an incentive for me to not level them up. I wonder if their satisfaction would drop. If I did that, I don't know. What are you at? You're at level two. Now you're at level three. Now you need sanitation facilities. Okay, so I got to think about some kind of shower. I don't know where the 68 is coming in. And then you gave me 82. Why are you giving me weird amounts of money? I don't know. Because the, the thing is 55. I mean, I'm not complaining that you left me a tip. But I don't know why you did it. You can have a level up. And you, you can have a level up. Ah, you have a sanitation need. Fantastic, you're actually in the toilet. Speaking of which, I can probably afford a new toilet right now. So give me the toilet, and let's have that live just like this one. And unfortunately, a light. There we go. I don't want a light in there, because i got to pay for that. But here we are. I suppose you people want a light. All right, well, that will help a little bit with the sanitation, I guess. But now I got to think about a shower. Let's see what I can do with the idea of a shower. I'm going to kind of keep it small, you know, like the toilet. I think that would probably be a good move. So let's do that. And then let's go to furniture and shower. I'm kind of assuming they they don't all want to be in the shower at the same time because there doesn't there's no particular way to designate a men's shower and a women's shower. So I'm assuming a group shower 
probably wouldn't cut it. I mean, maybe it will. I don't know. Maybe they're very, very open-minded here. Um, you know, hey, whatever. I don't judge. But I'm going to guess they probably want a single shower for themselves. Let's see if I can make that fly. And in fact, not actually that. Oh, I haven't put a door in, Dave. They actually can't access the shower at this point. There you go. I wouldn't mind. Maybe we can throw another one like right over here or something. We'll see. We'll see. Now, I zipped through to the next day just so I could accumulate a little bit of money. Ah, Dorothy Parker, our celebrity. You can level up now. Oh, your sanitation needs are already met. It's probably the new shower. So, um, you know, good. Good luck with that. And you, you've got to level up. How's your sanitation? Pretty darn good now that we've got a shower in here. I want to see if I can keep on my expansion idea. How much would it cost me to do that. All right, that basically bankrupted me, but we're on the right track and I'm going to demolish this wall. Okay, so now we can just open right up. Now I can actually get some more machines in here. Oh, it is a little dark over there though, isn't it? It's a little dark. We'll see. Can I move these machines? I, I could sell them. I know I can sell them. I don't, I don't really want to sell them. I want to just move them. Ah, never mind. It's, it'll be fine. Everything's 100% fine. Actually, with the money that I've made today, I can actually start getting some stuff going already. So let's get... Ooh, is there anything we don't have a lot of? We've only got one of these dumbbell racks. Where could I put one of those? How about right up against the wall over here? Sort of like, uh, I don't know. Well, actually, how about back to back with the other one? That makes more sense. Yeah, there we go. That makes much more sense. It is very dark over here. Oh, the cost of some electricity. I'm going to sadly put in another light. I bet people are going to want to see what they're doing. They're lifting heavy things and putting them down again. I'm starting to work on shower number two here. I did the wall at a jaunty angle for no other reason than it pleases me to do so. Let's get that door in there. And then let's get some shower stuff. Like, you know, a shower. Is, is probably our first move. Oh, weirdly, I can actually put it on the angled wall. I won't, but you know, good to know I could. So put a shower there, and then sadly another. It's the lights. It's the lights that are killing you in this game. It's your utility costs. That's what, oh, I like the, I like the wall at a jaunty angle. That's good. All right, two toilets, two showers. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, it's, it's not ideal for all these people. But I think I'm going to take maybe a couple more applicants. I'm sure they're all exactly the same. Yeah, they are. So uh, Linda, you're in. And Betty, you're in. Come on in to Dave's Awesome Gym. Now with 50% more showers. I haven't really checked in on a lot of these guys. How are you actually doing in your skills? Uh, you are... Oh, sorry. You're brand new, Linda. Let's not look at you. Who are you? Charles, you've been with us a while. Okay, so you're definitely building up your upper body strength and your lower body strength and a little bit on your endurance and stamina. Now, why do you not do agility and focus? Well, this is trained with a yoga mat or a sauna. Okay, well, that's obviously a ways in the distance. We don't have those yet. And this needs a ladder or aerobics equipment for agility. Okay, so obviously early access, we don't have access to that. We're not going to open that up. Interesting though. So this could be, you know, a much more inclusive gym with yoga and, you know, little obstacle course things, maybe a rock climbing wall or something like that, but not right at the le le level of development we're at right now. So I'm building the walls out again. Hopefully I have the money to actually do this because I'd like to get in some more treadmills. I feel people don't have enough access to treadmills around here. Oh, I've, do I've done the wall wrong. Uh, you know what? It's fine. It's all 100% fine. Uh, that to that to that. And then this to... I might just have enough to afford that. There we go. That to that. And then demo that wall, please. Okay. Thank you very much for all of that. The lights are mostly okay over here. I think I can live with the amount of illumination in this corner of the gym. Actually, that corner would be a great spot for a treadmill. That'd be a fantastic spot for that. I have the money for it. I've got the money just fine. So let's get a treadmill to live over here. Yeah, there you go. It's sort of a private area, private treadmill area. And let's throw another one of these right here. 
Okay, good. Actually, you know what would help with the illumination? How about if I put some windows up? Would that just make it overall brighter in here? I bet it probably would. Yeah, let's just do that. That may shave down the amount I have to spend on lights. Okay, there we go. Open it right up. People can watch you, Anthony. People can watch you pumping iron here as they walk by. Except everyone that walks by is actually coming here anyway, so it's largely irrelevant. Oh, you've got a level up. What's your deal? Uh, Jennifer, you're going up to level three. Congratulations. You'll be very happy to know that we have showers and bathrooms here now. And I think another treadmill right down in the corner here. And then I can maybe open up this area a little bit more. That, oh, you know, I don't like that there. I don't like that there. Uh, I, I regret that. If I sell that, can I get my full value back on that? Okay, yeah, I did. All right, fantastic. Excellent. I didn't lose any money on that. Okay, go go back to work, people. Go back to working out. I, I'm sorry about the treadmill. It was here very briefly, and then it went away. I think we're probably pretty good to get a couple of new applicants in the door here. So Laura and Susan... You can come work out in Dave's awesome gym. And I wonder if I could squeeze one more of the racks on here. Could we get that to live right in here? It'd be awesome if we could. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Back to working out, people. Back to working out. That is probably a good place to call it on Gym Tycoon. I don't really think there's much more beyond this. We don't, um, there's nothing left to really unlock. We've looked at all of the furniture. That's it. That That's everything that we're going to have. So anything beyond this is just kind of making it bigger and adding more equipment and members, which is super. But we may want to instead revisit this when there's a little more to Jim Tycoon than what we're seeing right now. Again, still in early access. But do please let me know in the comments what you think of Jim Tycoon. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them! It's a piece of mesh! We figured this out like a hundred years ago! What is wrong with the British, the Irish? I'm just going to keep shooting Hildegrad until she goes away, which is my response to most nuns, really. So now the pit of death is carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen, polluted water, and urine. I've just made it just a little bit worse for everyone down here.